What's going on guys, Fish Games? We got another sorcery beta box that we're about to open. If you want to support the channel, check out More of a Dork on Etsy. Link is in the description for 10% off. Hey everyone, this is the Next of the Bargain. This is our uh, seventh sorcery box opening. I'm gonna open the box up here. And then away we go. These are nice and sealed. Really high quality uh, security sticker right here. We managed to get one one of them off without without uh, breaking the void sticker. But not this one. Nope, that is voided. Why don't you just cut that? I've cut a bunch of them. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> And look, a surprise box topper. Yes. In our first box, we did not get a box topper, guys. So, we're buying this product. Make sure Just you get it. Know. Open it on camera. These are exceptional cards right here. And we got Elite Magic right there. And the rest are ordinary cards. There we go. We got this Elite Infiltrate, which for some reason the foils of this one were selling for a lot, but um, the non-foils, not so much. It's kind of like an act of treason. So even though it's a nice piece of artwork, I don't really see that card going, going anywhere. We've got some exceptional cards right there and Elite Immortal. And a Ordinary Foil. Like I said, um, my auctions on eBay will contain cards that were packed to sleeve without even touching the playmat. You can see the other side is full art. And there we go. So what are you hoping to get in this box? We're hoping to finally pull a Philosopher's Stone and a couple more of those, uh, those, what are they, orbs? Yeah, the ruins or whatever. They were called like no. What 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 are they actually called? I forget. Well, we'll, we'll see when we pull one. <laughs> we haven't pulled one in so long that we've oh, forgotten what it was called. That looks awesome though. Yeah, this one. I gotta go get this signed. Do I get it signed on the other side? Do I get it signed on this? I don't even know. So if God forbid mm -hmm. or whoever, uh, and you don't get the philosopher's stone, mm -hmm. are you gonna pass them over the nine boxes? I might open another box. I might uh, just just go and buy one. Just buy one. At that so that point. that's that's the the point where you should just um, buy a box. From, yeah, or probably. Just buy the single at that point. Right, because if you're only looking for one, if I'm only looking for like one card, I might as well buy that one card. Because if if you if it's just that one card or box. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I want to get a set of these cards, so it's. Um, I think it works opening boxes. Or you could just buy single cards for a if deck. A deck if you, you are buy. a collector, mm -hmm. sometimes the best way is to just open the packs for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Not financial advice, just our experience in life. Like, um, yeah, don't. If you only like one of the elements, then it's not worth it to open these packs because seventy-five percent of the time, you're not opening something that you can use in your deck. Yeah. And a lot of the times when you open boxes, you will take losses too, guys. Like. You can hit a really, really bad box like we've seen sometimes, or like some we've had some really good boxes too. So, so uh, it's definitely cracking boxes is a gamble for sure. Not but, recommended, but um, you can watch you can watch uh, this opening instead of opening a box. Yeah, maybe maybe. You <laughs> some I I can't tell you how many. Um, 
how much money I've saved by just watching other people open boxes and being like, I am not opening a box. That, that <laughs> is crazy. That might be why some of these guys are watching this right now. <laughs> like, is it worth it for me to actually buy a case yeah. or a box of this stuff? But like, um, sometimes, you know, you just really want like every card in, in a set. Margaret, and, and you really and like, Keen. you really enjoy the art of it, of a set and you want to just hoard a bunch of cards like a dragon is uh yeah, it dragon. happens it happens these are all original art no photoshop nothing so that's while uh, some companies are going away from original art doing the ai thing those other companies are going towards original art i think it's the prices the prices of of these original paintings have skyrocketed during this this AI boom. Just something to know. If you're an artist and you're discouraged from painting, don't be. Just, just do the work and things will sort themselves out. Blast of Elite Magic. And Ordinary Sorcery cards. Well, I was way wrong about no foils being in this first column. It seems like all the foils were in the first column. That's in this box. <laughs> Elite document. Land deed. You control this site. For four mana, it's like an annex in Magic. Relic, Angel's Egg, Ordinary Magics, and Unravel. It's one of your favorite arts, yeah? Yeah. I think you've gotten a few of those foils at this point. Yeah, definitely. Like, maybe this is my third foil. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get a, a play set of all, all four foils. That is one thing I really like, too. You're getting a play, full play set of something. Like, that I really like in <laughs> with with the unique ones, you only get one. For, yeah. I need one for a play set, so that's that's good. We haven't gotten any of those dual sites yet. Just just so you know, they're harder to pull sometimes. Polar bears. Well, it's just like the the avatars, you know. You yeah. got the one box with like either no avatars or one avatar, and then you pull a box with seven avatars. What you need to do is get a lot of people playing this game so you can bring binders with us and trade for for sets. Because I think a lot of people are gonna. I, 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 do, I do think people will really like this game. Mm -hmm. I do, however, think it's going to take some time before it's actually in stores being played. Like that. I feel like this is going to be more of a play with your friends kind of at home situation, at least for the first year or so. Yeah, it's going to be starting from the kitchen table. And it's especially if they have supply problems, which they might. Ha Which they, they do. Mayor, do mayor, they do mayor, they even have a bank account in the US? <laughs> Does, or are they this is a this is a foreign game. Yeah. This is this is a game it, it may be in English, but it is not from America. So Magus mentions that because I'm not gonna get into it, but I did attempt to get Kickstarter alpha stuff. It was a long process couple of years ago and with that being said even though i tried to buy the kickstarter alpha i wasn't able to get it due to um some issues bank issues it's about so if if sorcery has like a bank account in the u.s it's going to be a lot easier <laughs> to do business in this country just saying yeah, who knows? They probably have one by now, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing their their accounting. But yeah, word to the wise. I'm a little salty. Let's just say that. And right, rightly so. <laughs> I mean, no, have you seen what those Kickstarter boxes are going for? They're not MetaZoo Kickstarter prices, but but here we are. are. Oh, Gothic are. Tower. Um, just so, to let you guys know, I did only pre-order one Alpha booster box and the set of decks but um well i'll have to make a whole video on that at some point maybe oh, after I, maybe after i upload we upload all these yeah let's, videos. Let's, let's do this let's do the positive ones first look the another another non-foil source 
sorcerer. I only say the non-foil sorcerer is uh, more desirable than the foil ones because you get one of these in every box. I wonder if people would just like listen to this as a podcast, just like the the ASMR of the packs cracking. I don't know. We could just make a like a a mix of it. Yeah. Just to like sample the the packs cracking, <laughs> <laughs> make a whole a whole song. A little song out of it. Yeah, people probably understand it better than this mumble app going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear words in that. Yes. There's okay. a little, there's a little mumble rap that I'm down with that, <laughs> that I can, that I'm okay with, but most of it is uh, pretty, enunciate. Pretty <laughs> enunciate your words. That's what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize if you can't understand a word that I say because I mumble too. <laughs> it's hypocritical. We're mumble wizards. Mumble so wizards. Mumble sorcerers. Unique Cerberus in chains. What is this? This is nice. Avoid mm -hmm. avoid walking elite oh. foil. You can pump it. It's pumpable. For a mana, you gain one power this turn. You do lots of damage by flying over people with that two mana one one. That's void walk and pumpable. Better develop your sight, otherwise she'll like run around in the void. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for the uh, the deck text here. Death speaker, finally, finally a death speaker. We haven't gotten one. We opened. <sighs> Why? Took us a long time. I forgot I was even looking for a Death Speaker. Speaking of deck techs, look up Death Speaker Sorcery Deck Tech. You can cast a dead minion each turn and pay zero if you're at death's door. Just being able to cast a dead minion every turn. It makes it like Luris. And here's our first, uh, the lighthouse. You don't like the lighthouse? You suck. So that's, um, it's, it's of, of water and air. And these are exceptionals. This is Elite Maddening Bells. And the rest are ordinary. Yeah, I'm going to get Marta Molina to write on this. You don't like the lighthouse, you suck. <laughs> and sign it. Comment below if you get that reference. <laughs> Drink it out of cups. Yeah, I was anchoring my hand up here before, but then the lighthouse got in the way. <laughs> I like the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep it, keep it open. Like, keep that space open. Sunken treasure. Elite giants. Brian Smith, nice. Nice painting. I'm impressed. This is more fun to open it with, with you guys here. Um, because like, just like, I'd be, oh wow, this Screaming Skull. I definitely wanted one of these. Nice. Melissa Benson, some of the best art. This is like on the front of the box, as you can see. That Screaming Skull. Screaming Skull playmat sold out in very few minutes. And I uh, could not get one of those. So jealous of the artist that like got shipped the Screaming Skull art. It's one of my favorite. Um, it's just a skull with runes on it, but it's screaming. Lucky Charm and Sky Baron by Drew Tucker. Amazing. Teleport. Warp Spasm, unique by Ian Miller. 
The artwork, I'm just blown away every every single time. This is our first unique of this. Uh, no, these are these are all uniques. This is elite. This is a foil. Messing up my piles, like someone who I won't, won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many different variants. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for not making so many variants. And look, our first, no, our second lighthouse. <laughs> These are exceptionals. This is a unique Captain Baldassare. Got a lot of uniques here in this box. What do you think? Did they use the track printing? So they kind of measure how many uniques and how many of, uh, of each thing? Or is it totally random? Uh, it was totally random. They would just throw all the packs up in the air and oh, the mirror realm. So I just met Liz Danforth and I did not have one of these in my hand to, to go get it signed. But I like this mirror realm. Now you have plenty of cards to get signed. So. I have so many cards to get signed. I'm going to spend more getting these signed than like on a, yeah. on a case of these boxes. Yeah, Magus just got back from IX. 2023, and we did a mail day video on that. If you guys want to check that out on the channel, it's a bunch of artists. Um, they all go to a convention over the weekend in Pennsylvania. Um, you should come next year. You get stuff signed. Pretty cool. I, I am possibly going to go to go next year. You'll have sorcery stuff. I'll, I'll have leave that, that stuff. one that one box. Um, so yeah, that that'd be that'd be really cool. And this is the Brave you've gone three years in a row. Yeah. For magic, uh, magic related stuff. That's now, right. Now Magus the Bargain has some sorcery stuff, so I'm sure he'll get a lot of that signed. Especially if Melissa Benson shows up and yeah. signs this Aquamarine core, it's gonna go right over the lighthouse. That was the fourth core we were looking for. The cores that they're not orbs; nice. they're called cores. Nice core. Good stuff. Get a philosopher stone in this pack. I don't know if we need to open these other two boxes. Oh yes, a non-foil vault. So I can actually sell that foil one. <laughs> this is my favorite card in the set. Look at this. It's the first time an avatar stops here, they may draw three cards and skip their next turn. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't read that part. <laughs> you gotta skip your turn and draw three cards. So you get to your opponent gets a time walk and you get an ancestral recall. So I guess that's a fair trade, right? Do you want three cards? Do you want to skip your turn? So it's kind of like drawing two cards. It kind of sucks. I feel like that's, yeah. Not as good as we thought it was. I not didn't, anywhere close to as good. Not anywhere as near. Not skip, anywhere. Like skipping your, skipping your next turn is, is a it's big bad. hit. That's yeah. bad, bad. Bad is bad. That hurts. Unfortunately. Because reading the card explains how bad the card is. RCFC. But if you skip a turn near the beginning of the game, no, I don't know. Skipping, skipping your turn is pretty bad. I don't know. What if Ancestral Recall said on it, draw three? But it is a land. It's not. Hmm. Draw three cards. But can they be sites or lands? I'm not sure. We got Elite, a sinkhole. Does the same thing as like a wasteland or a strip mine. I swear you could mix this game with magic and they, they, they could pretty much go together like Lego and the knockoff Legos. <laughs> anyway, we got this uh, Aquamarine core. All we're looking for is a Philosopher's Stone. Hell yeah. Uh, do you want to go uh, do, do Yeah, we got, we got two, two of the lighthouses and they rule. Now we got the Aquamarine core. Got a bunch of uniques here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And some foils. We got elites. One, uh, two, three elites. And some ordinary. Uh, two, three, four, five, six ordinary foils. And then we're going to count up these elites. One, two, three. Twenty-seven of the elites, and then four of these uh, avatars, including the Death Speaker, which is pretty nice. 
awesome. Thank you guys for all watching. If you want to support the channel, check out more of a dork on Etsy. He's got some unofficial Sensei Divine Tops and a ton of other really awesome things. Magus the Bargain, thanks for supporting the channel as well, making these videos. It's a lot of fun seeing this product opened. And if you guys want to see all nine of these boxes open, um, just uh, keep waiting. They'll come out pretty much every day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video.